Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Dummies. Today I have a very special guest. It's my actress friend, Olivia. Hi guys. I am so excited you are here. I'm so excited to be here. I can't tell you. I am a huge fan of this one. <laughs> Please go show her some love. This is the first time she's on Nerdy Nummies. I'm going to be putting all of her links down below. Check it out. Follow, like, subscribe. Olivia was the perfect guest for today because I got so many requests to make something from Just Add Magic. And if you guys are familiar with Just Add Magic, it is an amazing Amazon original series that I fell in love with. Thank you. I love this series. Olivia plays the character. Kelly yep. and she's got two best gal friends and they find a magical cookbook and the show has friendship and magic and baking and all the things that I love. Me too. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be making the last stitch layer cake. I am so excited. It's three layers of deliciousness. Blueberry, strawberry, and pistachio. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. The first cake is going to be the pistachio cake. The things you'll need will be one cup of sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of pistachios without the shells roasted, two tablespoons of pistachio paste, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and four drops of mint green color. Half a cup of unsalted butter, three large eggs, half a cup of whole milk, quarter teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of baking powder. And now, let's, let's put, put it, it all, all together. together. The first step to making our pistachio cake is grinding our pistachios. Olivia, will you pour them in here? Nice. Thank you. See, she's got baking skills. Thanks, I'm a good pourer. I know you've already made this cake on the show, mm -hmm. but you're gonna know all the details. Yeah. Because you made it with magic. I did. And we're doing the unmagical way, mm -hmm. but it's still cool. Now just pulse the button. We want fine crumbs, but not a paste. Once these are ground, add the rest of your dry ingredients and continue to pulse. Now in a large bowl, cream together your butter, sugar, and pistachio paste. Oh, I like that mixer. It's watermelon colored. I like watermelon Girl, colored. I fell in love with this. They're coming up with so many cool colors. I know. Have you seen the mint one? Oh <gasps> No. Oh my gosh. They're are like beautiful. Oh, they're beautiful. Do they have these on Just Add Magic? Yeah, we have a yellow one. Oh, <gasps> I have a yellow one. No way. We need to use it today. Yes. Oh my gosh. Where did I put it? We have to use it, girl. I got one of these as a backup because I bake a lot and I have blown a motor before. No way. It's so I perfect. have one on, re on the ready. Now we're ready to add mm -hmm. our butter, sugar, and pistachio paste. Then right. just mix together until light and fluffy. This is what it should look like. Now add the eggs one at a time. Olivia, guess first. Add the first egg, please. Okay. Put it on her. <laughs> You got it, girl. Then mix it up, add the second egg, mix it up, and the third egg, and mix it up. Don't forget to scrape down the sides in between. Now add the vanilla mm -hmm. and mix it up one more time. This part is super easy. Just alternate adding your dry ingredients and milk to the butter mixture. Add a third of the dry, mix it up, half of the milk, mix it up, second third of the dry, mix it up, second half of the milk, mix it up, and last of the dry, mix it up. Last but not least, add four drops of the mint green food coloring. Next, we pour it in the pan and bake. In front of me, I have a greased and lined 10 inch round pan. Pour all of the batter in the pan. I feel like you need three hands when you do this. You need to have a friend with you. Then pop it in the oven at 350 degrees and bake for about 40 minutes. Oh, also, we're the color of the cake right now. I oh just my noticed gosh. that. Look at that. I'm the strawberry layer. I'm the blueberry. We didn't plan that. Nope. That just happened. Yep. Oh. It was magic. We told them there wasn't going to be any magic, but, but then there was. was. Our pistachio cake is baking, so the next layer is a strawberry cake. The ingredients are one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three-fourths cup plus two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of oil, quarter cup of butter at room temperature, one cup of fresh strawberries, two eggs, one teaspoon of strawberry extract, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. First step is to puree our strawberries, and the first thing we're gonna do is cut Cut off the greens, throw them in the blender, and mix them up. Now whisk together your puree, eggs, and extracts into a medium-sized bowl. I'm pouring in the strawberry and vanilla extracts. You just pour it. I'm just going to keep smelling. Me too. <laughs> I'm going to smell it and pour. It smells like a smoothie. Ah! And then we have two eggs. Whisk together till well combined. And now it's time to combine the dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. We got a large bowl here. I'm going to be adding the salt, 
and the powder. And then Olivia, will you add the flour and sugar? Then whisk together till well combined. I'm using an electric mixer because we're gonna be adding some butter and other ingredients right away. And add our butter and oil. Then mix together until the mixture becomes pebbly. This is called a reverse creaming method. Now add in half of your strawberry mixture. Mix together until smooth. Then we'll add the second half. Then mix it up one more time. And again, I have a 10 inch round greased pan and I put a piece of parchment paper at the bottom so that the cake won't stick. And we're just gonna pour in all the batter and pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. The third layer is gonna be our blueberry cake, which matches your shirt. <laughs> the things you'll need will be one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of sugar, half a cup of unsalted butter, quarter cup of shortening, an additional quarter cup of sugar, and one cup of frozen blueberries. Two eggs, quarter cup of milk, quarter cup of buttermilk, a little bit of electric purple food coloring, quarter teaspoon of blueberry extract, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. The first step is we have have to make a quick blueberry jam. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a delicious cake. It's really, really simple. In a medium sized sauce pot, pour in the blueberries and the smaller measurement, the quarter cup of sugar, mix it together and take it over to the stove. Set the pot on the stove and turn your heat to medium. Let your blueberries cook for about 30 minutes, making sure to stir occasionally. When the jam is thick and there is very little liquid left, carefully remove from the stove and set off to the side to cool. Now while that's off to the side cooling, mm -hmm. we'll mix together some of our dry ingredients flour, salt, and baking powder. Then whisk together until well combined. I'm just excited you're here. I'm excited to be here. I watch you cook on TV, and now I get to watch you cook in person. I watch you cook on YouTube, and now I get to watch <laughs> you cook in person. This is so exciting. Now, in another large bowl, cream together your butter, sugar, and shortening. Then whisk together till light and fluffy. After you creamed it all together, you're going to add the eggs one at a time. Add an egg, mix it up and scrape down the sides, add the second egg, mix it up and scrape down the sides. And then we're going to add the blueberry <gasps> extract. Yeah. <laughs> Then mix one more time. Everything is ready to combine. We've got our wet ingredients, our dry ingredients, our butter ingredients. Add a third of your dry ingredients, mix it up. Add your butter, milk, and milk, then mix it up. Add the second third of the dry, mix it up. Then add your fresh blueberry jam, mix it up. And lastly, add the remaining third of the dry and mix it up. So we just finished the mixing and as you can tell, it's already pretty purple, but to keep it purple while baking, we're going to add a drop of food coloring. The last step is to, once again, put it into our pan. Cake is ready to bake now. Pop it into the oven at 350 degrees and bake for about 30 to 40 minutes. All of our cakes are done baking. We've given them enough time to cool. Mm -hmm. And now we are ready to assemble our cake. I popped all of the cakes out of their cake pans and leveled the top just to make them flat and smooth. To assemble our cake, we're gonna start with the bottom layer is pistachio. Yep. This is a good time to pick what you're gonna serve your cake on. It can be a cake stand, a cake plate, whatever you'd like. And over here, we have buttercream frostings that we've dyed the color of the cake. So we mm -hmm. have green, pink, and blue. And we're gonna start with green. Just pipe a thin layer on top. Using an offset spatula, smooth it out. Now for the strawberry layer. Ice on top of the strawberry cake with the pink frosting. Oh my gosh, I have a funny story. Basically, I instead of photobombed Olivia, I basically set bombed Olivia. I was filming on set for Brizard Farg, that Disney TV show, and then I found out that the sound stage that we were on was right across from the sound stage that Olivia was on when you were filming season two. Yes, it was I got the best. So excited. I was like, oh, you were doing rehearsals with a bunch of other cast members, and I was like, oh. Oh my God, hey Olivia. We were so excited to have you there. Everybody, production stopped. Rosanna has entered the building. It was the best. We all got a bunch of pictures and right after we were like, we need to stop filming. We have to go post these pictures with Rosanna. It was the best. <laughs> okay, now for the third layer. We're gonna flip the cake upside down. So the bottom of the cake is actually gonna be the top. Before we finish icing our cake, we're going to pop it in the fridge and let it cool for about 30 minutes. Decoration is super easy. All you need is icing and a little sprinkles. Start with your green buttercream frosting. I put it in a piping bag and just cut off the end. Pipe two rows of green icing. Now do the same thing with the pink icing right above the green. Now for our third and final color, blue icing. 
Now, Olivia, with the same icing, ice the tongue up and we'll smooth it with a spatula. I'm gonna line it up on the side of the cake, slowly spin it around, smooth out our piping all the way around. And again, for the top, we're gonna use an offset spatula, making it as smooth as you can. This is looking amazing, yes. but we get to add a little bit of texture on the top and sides. Mm -hmm. I noticed on the show that it had those little texture lines. So Olivia, will you slowly turn the cake, and I am gonna be using this big offset spatula, and starting at the bottom, and holding it and just lightly letting it drag all the way around. We're gonna go around twice. Also a good tip is to wipe your spatula between colors. And now we're gonna move up one more layer. Give it a spin. Wipe off the excess and do it one more time. Now we've done all the sides, but we still have to do the same texture on the top. While you're spinning the turntable, I'm gonna work my way in towards the middle like a spiral. Final decoration step is sprinkling on a few sugar pearls. I have a few silver sugar pearls. They look like the ones from the show. And sprinkle them towards the middle of the cake. Ta-da! Here is the last stitch layer cake that we made today from the series Just Add Magic. A big thank you to Olivia. Oh my gosh, thank you for helping me bake today. Oh, thanks so much for having me. I had such an amazing time. This, this is like a dream so to be in your kitchen. much fun. You guys know I am a huge fan of the show Just Add Magic. I'm gonna put the links down below to season one and two. You can watch it on Amazon. And Olivia, there's more episodes coming, right? Yep, we have some more for you guys. Yes. And I'm so excited to show you what we have in store for you guys. In the meantime, I'll just be posting pretty pictures of this cake from the show and the recipe on RosannaPantino.com, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can check it out there. And if you guys make this cake, please take a picture and send it to me. Send it to us. Yeah. Tweet it to us. Just tag us so we can see your baking creations. It makes me so happy. It makes my day. If you have any other ideas for any other nerdy nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. And now we get a slice for us. I've been waiting all day for this. Ooh, these look delicious. Which layer are you the most excited to try? I'm the most excited to try the pistachio because I love mm. them just as a plain nut, but mm -hmm. I've never tried them in a cake before. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try the next one now. Me too. I'm gonna try the next one. That one's good. Okay, and then last, last but not least, blueberry. Mmm. I think my favorite's the blueberry. I think it is mine too. They're all good, but. That was so good. Ooh, that's my layer. I know, I'm gonna keep going. Bye! <laughs>